at how to process data in Node-RED and the designer, the intelligent way. So basically what we are looking at is um, what happens to data from beginning to end, like uh, while it comes out of its data source, what needs to happen in the middle, and then it goes into whatever destination you have in mind. Mm, so until now, essentially what we have looked at uh, as a community for data is you have multiple models like and the most common one is ETL which is mostly used for bulk loads uh, you have different variations to that uh, in reality we do need uh, pipelines for medium sized data um, and small sized data so we are basically working on how to how to figure out how to make this continuous pipeline of uh, streaming data possibly it could be um, it could be bulk data also um, it just needs to be bucketed in an appropriate fashion to make it work this way um, so this is basically creating a different kind of a paradigm for uh, how data should be processed on node red so let's start with that so the intelligence in this is basically just uh, the segregation of all parts and ensuring that everything is mapped well together and the fact that you can fuse data from all sources here. Um, you have, so you have a bunch of data sources now, uh, thanks to how Node-RED works and the number of packages available, uh, you can have different, different sources of your kind. Um, they're available uh, commonly. Um, with the designer, you can actually just directly uh, get data from an edge device also. It's pretty easy to use. There are a bunch of other videos on this. The next stage over here is typically you would want to format or clean that data. Now, this is just a very simple example of how that data works. So from the sensor data store, essentially the data that is coming out is uh, the y-axis, the x-axis, temperature, and the charge. Um, so this data is being processed over here. It's just uh, an example, a very simple one. Basically, if uh, the data that's coming out in the y-axis, if it is not null, um, then we can go ahead and process it directly. If it is null, then we do need to put a condition over it. And... Oh yeah, I just hard coded it to a value 4.5. You can, uh, you can set it to the previous value uh, that you've seen. You can set it to the average of the previous values that you've seen. Uh, you can basically go crazy here. Um, we have a bunch of nodes to help with that also. So now, essentially, as you reach this section, uh, you have clean formatted data to work with now. Uh, the next step is if you want to fuse your data. Now this is pretty cool and uh, we will be looking into this particular portion in depth in one of the later videos because it's a larger topic. So essentially what it allows you to do is take data from multiple sources and put it together very, very easily. The next step from here is right now for this example, we have just one uh, data source working. That's the center, uh, sensor data store. And uh, now if I want to use uh, an operation on this, essentially. So this is what that operation looks like. You have uh, a payload being set for your anomaly detect to work. Uh, your anomaly detect is basically a pretty intelligent node that allows you to do a bunch of operations. Um, it checks if there is a pattern. Um, in a set of points that have come and uh, if if there's a violation in that pattern you can do standard deviation uh, and other stuff there's an entire video on this in our library you can go check it out um, so we just want to basically detect some anomalies here after this so essentially until this point now you have already cleaned the data so since it's cleaned, uh, your data operations know exactly what to expect here. And uh, now you've done 
the intelligence portion or any transformation that you want this can be a lot more complicated depend depending on your requirement the next thing is uh, you just want to check uh, for uh, the output data how it is functioning and over here i just put in a pretty simple condition that uh, so the anomaly detect over here it's giving out an indicator um and we are basically looking if uh, looking for the state of the anomaly detection to be one uh, if it is one then i want that data displayed somewhere um one means it is an anomaly uh, the other one is basically so essentially now that you have this data in this format now you can just select what all sources or what all portions of the data you want to push into influx maybe s3 back into the edge device um stuff like that so as you can see this is a pretty easy way of uh, modularizing and uh, processing your data really quickly uh, making sure it's clean it's used uh, you have your processing done on it and the right data is going into the right bucket um yeah so this is basically part 1 we'll have more uh, videos on this in the future with uh, more advanced uh, concepts in this working with fusion and this is where you start seeing that node red really comes to life thank you